Hello there, it's Mike with the Fish Tank Barn. And welcome back to another video. So today, we're gonna to take a little bit of a tour of both the downstairs and upstairs of the Fish Tank Barn. Take a look at all the fish, the tank setups, and see how everything's doing. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first tank you see on your left is my 245 gallon fish only with live rock saltwater tank. Uh, this primarily holds Venusus angelfish, a various species of butterfly fish, and a couple of clownfish. It's pretty early in the morning right now, so they're not really out yet. Uh, if you look down the way there, uh, that is my 150 gallon plywood tank. Uh, this is what we call the South American tank. Uh, that tank houses uh, five geophagus heckali, a marble angelfish, uh, two Rio Nene Severums, some green dragon plecos, and uh, some HY511 tetras. We are now looking at our 420 gallon high guppy breeding system. In this system, uh, going from left to right, our super red Dumbo guppies. The second tank has bumblebee platies. Uh, the third tank has albino koi guppies. And the fourth tank here have the metallic black tail guppies. Underneath that tank is the 120 gallon fish only with live rock saltwater tank. Uh, that's hooked up to the 245 gallon that we spoke about earlier. Uh, in this tank we have a blue hippo tang, a coral beauty angelfish, and a pair of sea bay clownfish. So we're now going to look at this rack here. Apologize we won't get like, all of it in one shot. So this is the rack. Uh, if we go uh, starting from bottom to top, uh, this is my my Red Empress breeding group. Uh, th uh, this is planted with some Valisneria. I tend to not mind the Valisneria on the uh, far side of the tank here, but put anything any further than that, they tend to rip it out. Uh, all right, we're now looking at one of the favorite tanks here in the fish tank barn, the Mutt Guppy tank. We go down the row here. Uh, this is the 75 gallon Lake Tanganyikan tank. Uh, going up to the next tank here, uh, this is uh, some of the favorite tanks here in the fish tank barn is the Mutt Guppy tank. Uh, looking down the row, as we uh, followed by on the bottom, uh, the 90 gallon discus tank. And then heading over here, uh, this tank has my Cyprochromus leptosomum plungu grow out that I picked up uh, back in January. And the, the uh, second tank up top here is my group of Haplochromus species blue obliquidens that I picked up a couple of weeks ago from the local fish club. Uh, turning around here now is my couch. Nothing terribly exciting there. Uh, this is the new rack I built uh, about a month ago. Um, so the tank on your left there is the Astatilapia aniacolor group. The next tank going through there is my Trophius Camuera Condensa. Going to the top, uh, these two are empty right now. Uh, the, the first tank up here is my Alemia sulfurophylla, followed by the Nebula Steel Guppies. And then uh, finally, uh, the last tank here are just a uh, basically a mutt group of uh, red-tailed guppies. We are looking at the uh, final piece here. Uh, this is the Cichlid Island, we call it. Uh, this will be coming down. I am going to rearrange down here. So the first section here on the top is a 40 gallon breeder that holds right now some Alnacara ethylwaini. Uh, there's four of those in here. Uh, we're just growing these out. Uh, eventually they are gonna be moved to a different tank. Um, this aquascape is not really a, a peacock cichlid aquascape, but uh, it works for now. 
Uh, heading down to the bottom, uh, this tank does have a little bit of algae in it. Uh, this tank is the Chindago de Masonite tank. Uh, there are six individuals in there. The next tank over here is going to be, uh, this is a 22 gallon tank with my Neil Lamper Logos Brevis Sunspot. Uh, over here is my Avalochromus Pulcher, uh, the Crebensis. And then we gotta go all the way around the other side. The other side here, uh, this tank has uh, some Cyanochromus Friori, uh, also known as the Electric Blue Ali. Uh, there's about four of those in here. Uh, this is a 55 gallon. And then if we look at the uh, bottom, this is uh, some of my filtration that I use. Um, this is the fill out of my tanks. I don't use this on live air tanks because uh, it's too easy for the fry to end up through the overflow. So uh, if you can see here, obviously I need to change out the uh, filter floss. Um, it's just a Home Depot tub, a uh, heater, a uh, return pump in this case, which is a Mag 9. And then uh, it's got basically um, either like a colander you can use or you can use a... Um, this was, I picked this from LR Bretts, but it's sort of just a basket. And you can use that. And then last but not least, um, it's full of duckweed, so we probably won't be able to see the fish in here. Uh, but this is my 100 gallon goldfish tote. So that's the last tank here in the downstairs section of the barn. So let's go ahead and head upstairs and we'll take a look at what's going on upstairs. We're now at the top of the stairs. Uh, the first tank we come to at the top of the stairs is my Zebra Obliquidens tank. Uh, this is a 75. Uh, there's a row of 75s here that are plumbed into a central system. Um, as you can see, there are the adult fish in here. Uh, those are under the rockwork here, as well as quite a few fry. So these are some of the fry uh, that we saw spit in the bag back in December. They have grown up quite big now. So uh, really looking forward to quite a few more fry from this tank. All right, we're now looking at my 75 gallon mixed African cichlid tank. Uh, in here are yellow labs. Uh, purple ACI, uh, as well as a cobalt blue peacock, an OB peacock, and there's a strawberry peacock in here as well, uh, right now hiding out in the rocks. All right, we're now looking at my 75 gallon Pundamilia Nairi tank. Uh, this is the dominant male right here, a uh, very beautiful fish. Uh, there's another uh, sub dominant male right here. Uh, there's about 10 fish in here. Uh, there's quite a large contingent of males though. Uh, which is kind of an issue. Uh, so far though, they've just been, uh, there's just been a little bit of chasing, nothing much more than that. This tank we come to here is my 54 gallon plywood tank. Uh, this has a mixed variety of sword tails in it. Uh, there are a couple of rainbow fish in there. Uh, they're kind of hiding out towards the top. Uh, there are still a couple of uh, pistogrammas in here, as well as the uh, white skirt tetras. All right, we're now at the uh, clownfish breeding setup here. Uh, the first clownfish we have here are my uh, snowflake oscillaris that have been laying on a pretty regular basis here. Uh, the next clownfish here are is my uh, lone trisinctus, a member of the Clarkey family. Uh, quite difficult to get a hold of, actually. I don't. They're not commonly found in the trade. The next fish here are my. A black snowflake clownfish. Uh, I've got these a couple months ago. Uh, starting to grow up a little bit. Uh, pretty nice looking fish. Uh, the next group of fish here are my spot synctus. All right, the next fish here is the uh, lightning maroon. Uh, this is a singular fish as well. Something I definitely do need to find a mate for at some point here. This fish here are my tomato clownfish pair. Uh, these guys have been spawning regularly for me as well. And then uh, finally, we're going to take a look here at the uh, Picasso clownfish I have. I uh, picked this one up at um, Aquashello uh, as a baby uh, last August. As you can see, uh, gotten quite large. Uh, do need to find another mate for it. So uh, hopefully we can get that uh, pretty soon here. So going on to the next rack here. Uh, this is my uh, rare Gadead rack. So in here right now, uh, we've got 
course, uh, the first tank here we have some Scifia Francese. Uh, going down to the bottom tank, uh, we have the Golden Sail Fingadid. Tank here are my two female uh, Xenotoka Eyes and I. Um, they should be dropping pretty soon. These guys have been fattened up now for quite a while. So I am trying to get a lot of plants in here uh, so they don't eat the fry. Tank here is my Amica Splendens tank. And then if we turn the corner here, uh, the next tank we see here are my um, Iliadon Fursidens. We have some Scifia Francese. Uh, going down to the bottom tank, uh, we have the Golden Sail Fingadid. Tank here are my two female uh, Xenotoka Eyes and I. Um, they should be dropping pretty soon. These guys have been fattened up now for quite a while. So I am trying to get a lot of plants in here uh, so they don't eat the fry. Tank here is my Amica Splendens tank. And then if we turn the corner here, uh, the next tank we see here are my um, Iliadon Fursidens. Uh, going down to the bottom, uh, there is a there's one Scyphia Lerme in here. Uh, that fish is probably going to move to a 10 gallon uh, eventually uh, when I start rearranging things in here. Uh, the next tank over here, uh, you won't be able to see them very well, but that is a um, Astatilapia ania color uh, from the first group I had. Uh, he's a big male. Uh, I don't want to put him in with the other fish. Uh, has my Scyphia multipentata heading up to the top. Looking at the top tank, I have my Krakenon lateralis as well as uh, some high fin variatus platys in here. Well, this tank is what some people call the uh, best guppies in the world. These are the Super Dumbo Dragon Guppies. Are my uh, Limia Nigro Fasciata. There are my Limia Perugia. And then uh, the last tank. And then just turning over this way, uh, this is my Clownfish Culturing System. Then if you look at the bottom here, that's just the uh, rotor for culture. Tank here is my 60 gallon tank. Um, unfortunately, I did lose the um, Autopharynx Tetra Stigma that we're breeding in here. Uh, I do have a ton of fry. Also in here are my Swedish Hongai, uh, which are pretty reclusive in here, uh, but I do see them out from time to time. And those have spawned as well, so there are some baby Swedish Hongai in here as well. Well, that concludes our tour for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time here, check out the video that appears here at the end. If you like the channel, please like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and as always, keep on breeding, Stay fishy, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.